So I'm getting bullied. There's this beautiful young lady on TikTok documenting her life in China and her experience there. She goes live quite often so you get to see the interaction she has with the locals and the kind of questions they ask her and um, how the culture is and how that dialogue goes because she puts a um, subtitle underneath even though she's speaking in Chinese you can understand what's really happening. She posted a video of herself having a conversation with this man that just randomly joined her and started asking her questions like can you be seen in the dark because you're black? And I just watched that video in such a shock because one, she handled him with just with so much grace and with respect. She never insulted him. She never did anything. She was so calm, but she still stood her ground and defended herself. But what shocked me more is the backlash she received after she posted that video. Apparently, she should have said quiet and allowed that disrespect to happen. Let me show you the interaction she had with this Chinese man. We'll come back and discuss. Yeah,你不是白人,你是黄的,你不是白人 我不抽烟,抽烟对身体有 你刚我一开口,你问我的所有问题都是奇奇怪的那种 觉得你是伤害他们，就感觉就像我会中文对吧？我就了解中国人，我了解你们的文化，我知道这些问题可能只是好奇、单纯而已。每个国家的肤色都不一样。那你明明知道这个，那你为什么还要问我呢？你还说
He first disrespected me. He was rude at me and at my people. It was not only about me. The questions he was asking, it could be another black person he was gonna ask the same question. It's just because I could speak his language. That's why I was able to, you know, reply. So if you're Asian and you're thinking I disrespected you by the way I talked to that man, I'm saying. I love my Chinese friends and my Chinese aunties too much to disrespect them. I can never do that. Yeah, imagine that. She gets disrespected and she has to come and ask why people are so offended. This is so bizarre. This is upside down world in my opinion. Why are you so pressed about this girl defending herself? Why aren't you not pressed that this man approached her? Not say, hello, what's your name? My name is so-and-so. Can we be friends? Like he never even interacted with her in the level of how you approach a human being when you see publicly. You, th there's courtesy. There's, there's um, like, you should have some kind of values. You don't just go to someone, even if you're curious. Let's say he was curious, which we know that he's not because he tells her, in the part two video that she posted he said it on purpose okay he disrespected her on purpose so even if we give him the benefit of the doubt and he was curious who goes to a person in public just randomly and say can i ask you a question in the dark can you be seen it's nonsensical in my opinion and i don't buy it for a second that this is just an innocent curiosity i i don't know i don't know maybe it's because i've been watching a lot of tiktok videos of interactions of Africans going to this um, Asian countries and the conversation and the questions that they're being asked like specifically there's a one creator I forget his name on TikTok he films his interaction with the locals there and some of the questions I've heard them ask him is just mind-boggling I've heard a person ask this young man is your blood black too like what that's why I find it very hard to give them the benefit of the doubt because you can't be this ignorant about the world anyways fam let me know down below what your thoughts are about this conversation especially with this young girl facing a backlash because she defended herself like respectfully not even she didn't even call him names you know anyways let me know down below i'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye